There are so many families whose every day is dominated by caring for a special needs child. Whatever grand plans they had for themselves to change the world, those have disintegrated into a endless, seemingly endless daily routine of drudgery and, and thankless work. Taking care of this being, does anybody see them doing that? Does anybody celebrate them? Do they celebrate themselves? Do they know that what they are doing has cosmic significance? Usually they do not. To volunteer for that is a profound act of service. And it doesn't make sense to the rational mind that tries to calculate what has an impact on the future and what does not. Because that act of service isn't going viral on YouTube. Nobody knows about it. It's not inspiring anybody and certainly not changing the system, is it? But it is. Even just raising children, being a stay-at-home parent, that's not validated, that's not celebrated, that's not rewarded financially. A sane society would, would elevate that to the most sacred status. There would be no question about that. And now, today, women are only celebrated if they go out into the workforce. And I'm not saying that they should not go out into the workforce. I'm just saying that if they make that choice, it shouldn't be because raising a family is denigrated to a lower status. I want to bow in gratitude to that and celebrate it right now. And also to generate this field of seeing that as noble, even if you're not the one doing it, so that none of us who are doing big, important things in the world ever fantasize that what we're doing is more important than what these humble people are doing behind the scenes in those pressure cookers where it's all you can do to stay patient endlessly day after day. Those people are holding the fabric of reality together. Thank you for that service. If it weren't for those people, the big important people wouldn't even be able to do their work. And this is part of sanity, to walk with open eyes, to see what is really valuable and to incorporate that into our theory of change, into our understanding of what a good life is. Those humble lives, those decades of caring for a special needs child issue a, a continual prayer. The prayer is, here is the kind of world I want. The kind of world I want is where people prioritize caring for each other to this degree. If we actually had a world where everybody cared to that degree, we wouldn't have any of these problems to begin with. And that devotion would be turned and shall be turned toward the unfolding of life and beauty on this world. And it will be spectacular. <laughs>